Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you've all had a fantastic holiday with your friends and families and a great start into the new year. Welcome to a quick tutorial video about fake team kickoffs. If you watch the pro scene, you might already be familiar with these kickoffs. There are many varieties of fake kickoffs, but I'll be talking about one specific kickoff in this video. I've also made a custom training for you to practice this play with your teammate to truly master this play. But first of all, what even is a fake kickoff? A fake kickoff is a choreographed kickoff where you and your teammates stick to the script and make a play happen from the get-go. You and your teammate have to be on the same page when attempting this, so if you're communicating via voice chat, make sure to inform your teammate. If you're not using voice chat, you and your friend can make a code that indicates the kickoff play. That code can be spamming a team quick chat command three times at kickoff so that you're both on the same page and your teammate is ready. I use the command go for it and my friend uses all yours, so with that set code in mind, you shouldn't have any disadvantage over people with voice chat communication. Once mastered and with enough team chemistry, you'll see this work nearly every time. My friend and I have done this as far as to the super champion and grand champion levels, so you should be fine doing this at any level. But keep in mind that this play I'm about to explain only works on a diagonal kickoff where one of your teammates is inside the goal. Now how does this particular play work? There are a minimum of three steps to this play. Those three are faking the 50-50 challenge, hitting the ball high into the air, and then the aerial. So let's talk about the first step, which is the fake challenge at kickoff. Here, the person who starts on the corner has to bait the opponent into dodging into the ball and make him hit the ball to the player who's back in goal. I personally dodge forward straight from the start and cut in in the last second to make it more believable that I'm challenging the kickoff. It is however essential that you cut in and not outside, so that after the kickoff you can carry on your momentum, drive to the nearest boost canister and make your way up the wall. Now your teammate meanwhile, awaiting the opponent's hit, has to position himself right and get ready to hit the ball up high and hard. To do so, it's recommended that he saves his boost, collects a boost pad if possible, moves a little towards the corner and faces back at the center. So where are we at right now? The challenger just faked the opponent and the player close to the goal is awaiting the ball that is slowly rolling towards him. Now we can get to step 2, which is the high hit from that player into the path of the challenger. While the player close to goal is preparing to hit the ball up in the air, the player who challenged the kickoff goes and grabs the middle boost and makes his way onto the wall. Now let's jump into the perspective of the player who shoots the ball up high. It's not recommended for the player to dodge into the ball, but rather jump hit the ball without dodging to give it the necessary speed and height. Also important is, make Make sure you hit it not directly to that player but rather in front of him. After a successful hit, the defender is then free to pick up any boost and his job is basically done. And now onto step 3, which is the aerial. The player on the wall now has to fly towards the ball and hit it. Remember how I said in the beginning that this play required a minimum of 3 steps? Here's why. The player on the wall now has the option to either shoot directly into the net or he can choose to hit the ball to the center of the field and set the defender up for a shot. But I always recommend the first option, as the pass into the middle is high risk and can allow opponents to intercept the play and counter in the empty net. And this is basically all there is to this play. But one thing to note is that you should only attempt this play once or maybe twice per game. Any more and your opponents might read the play and counter you by waiting on the line. And I should also add that fast kickoffs are a huge counter to this play because the player doing it can snatch the ball away straight from kickoff and maybe even get the boost in time and cause a lot of damage. Although fast kickoffs aren't very popular in competitive and high levels due to the risk of it backfiring, but in case you do come across a player that goes for fast kickoffs, it's advised you don't attempt the team kickoff play on that player. Now let's go over to the custom training I was talking about at the beginning of this video. This puts you in all perspectives and steps and simulates the fake kickoff play so you and your teammate can practice and master this. You don't have to 100% this training, that's not the point of it. In fact, you should just skip the first 6 positions after you've done them and only try to score the last 6 which are simulating the final aerial or shot. Because the positions 1-3 to three are all about the kickoff. Try to get as close to the ball as you can before moving away from the ball in the last possible moment. Position 4-6 to six are about the pass to the challenger on the opposite wall. Try hitting the ball up high and fast while keeping the ball on the middle lane, meaning not directly to the wall. Now again, think of this as a Hail Mary in football. You want to play the ball into the receiver's path so he can catch it while running. If you hit it directly to him, he's gonna be in an awkward spot, so try avoiding that. Now in position 7 to 9, we play in the challenger's point of view again, to be specific right after we faked our kickoff. Try going up the wall and hitting the ball straight in. And position 10 to 12 I've added as an optional step 4 like I've talked about earlier. It's when the player on the wall decides to pass instead of going for the shot himself, 
So you're in the position of the defender in this case and you're gonna try and hit the ball in from the ground. And with this said, I want to take a moment and thank you for an amazing year and an incredible support in 2016. We ended the year with 15,000 subscribers and a million views. So thank you for being a part of this journey and also for watching this video. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.